What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Uh, this is going to be part four um, for advice for artists. So I just wanted to film uh, film another episode for the weekend. But yeah, how's everyone feeling? I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Looking forward to the weekend. I just um, I wanted to kind of chat about probably a singular topic in this episode. Uh, I think it's a really important uh, topic, and it's it's about team building. Um, as an artist, um, you know, building your, your your team and the and the the blueprint um, for for members in the team and and job roles that can be assigned. So I, th- I think I think building a team or, or or at least just having a manager of some sort is super important for an artist because there is an entire workload um, that can be taken off the shoulders of the creative artist. Um, when there are team members involved and there is a manager to guide them and support them. I think it's an absolute necessity in an artist's career to have a team um, backing them and supporting them. Um, you you got to remember the day if you are at that situa- if you are in the situation where you are solo right now, um, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like how, how difficult is it to not only create music and stay in the pocket of, of creating and then also... To, fo- to have to focus on pushing it and hustling and building contacts and and all that stress of that it, it makes things so difficult so building a team and or at least just getting yeah having a manager is I think is such a vital vital step in your career look this one was a bit of a this was a tough one for me because essentially I, I do believe this is maybe the first thing artists should be looking at um, like trying to build a team or like finding a manager or finding just a general like assistant, someone who supports you, wants to help out with the marketing and stuff like that. But it's really tough because I think when it comes to building a team and finding a a management and, and, and whatever needs to be so organic and, and so um, based on feeling and in the heart and belief as opposed to just like getting a team member, you know what I mean? So it's really tough. That's why I didn't put it in the first episode. I was so unsure of where to actually plant this. So look, I'm just going to put it in here. And yeah, look, when I mean organic, um, someone who just generally believes in your music. I mean, that's always the first start. Finding someone who truly believes in you as an individual, as an artist, and believes in your music. Um, If you can find that um, early on, then give, give that person a crack. Like, Let them on the team. Trial and error. Everything's just trial and error when it comes to comes to stuff like this. Nothing is ever official as it starts off. If you're trying to find a manager um, or someone who can help you out with everything with the distribu- distribution and marketing, just make sure when you when you're giving someone the, the the opportunity to do this that everything is mutually understood in terms of this is all for the love of the music and this is because that you, uh, because you yourself as the artist and and whoever it is who is coming onto the team just generally believes in the music. That needs to be the foundation of team members. I think that needs to be the foundation of a manager to an artist and whatnot. So I know it's a tough one because like, yeah, look, how do you go about finding that in a friend group? What if you don't have many friends or you don't know anyone who's into that? No one believes in your music right now. You're the only one. I know it can be a bit of a iffy, iffy um, subject there. So look, if you're... If you are on your own at the start, then then that's fine. You just got to have that extra self belief for the start, and you got to have that extra hustle. There's nothing wrong with that. If anything, it might actually pay off in the in the long run because you'll actually learn a lot more, and it'll put you to the test a lot more early on, and really, really test your self belief, which is good. That can build a strong foundation um, as an artist. You just have to keep hustling, and and whilst you're networking, when you start networking in the scene those people will start, I think, popping up for you. You'll start, you know, meeting people um, and people, you know, you might start getting fans and whatnot, people interested in your music. So I think that can be your ticket into, um, you know, communicating to people who might be interested in and in, in helping you out or managing you or whatnot. So that's that's one way. Going back to, let's say, you, you do have a friend or you have someone who does believe in your music, then that's a good start. Like, as I said, trial and error them. Um, you know, once again, it's all a learning process. It just comes to trial and error. You got to understand that those uh, those team members are going to be uh, on the job, learning, on the job, hustling. So 
it really has to be patience and it has to just be trust in and and one another. All these steps that I'm talking about of hustling um, in the previous episodes, like all of those can be done so much easier if there is a team member on board or team members on board. So find, make that your make that a really big goal. Always be always have that in your head. Like you need to manifest that as law of attraction. Always be conversating that to people. Always be looking at but. Just remember that not everyone is going to be the right fit as a team member or as a manager. Like I said, when it comes down to that, it has to come down to feeling. You have to believe. You have to trust. Um, that can only be felt. It can't just be like a business transaction or whatnot. I, I, I really, really, really think that's important to understand that team members when it comes to this and managers just needs to be a, a, a thing on energy. Literally all this is perfect example of like what me and Jay did. So... You know, I mean, our team structure is very simple and always has been. And it was like that from the start. So um, JC knew that he needed a, a team structure, a team member at least at the start. And that was a smart decision by him. That's how we came um, to being where, we're, where we are in this relationship. Um, and we were always friends, had a strong connection. So that was on that trust thing. It was on that energy thing. And, and we just did it one step at a time. You know, it was a struggle at the start. Um, I personally had no idea what I was doing, um, and it's just a learning process. You have to learn, you have to hustle, and that's the only that's the only way you can learn is just by doing. So, find yourself team members, or at least a team member, someone who truly believes in you, um, believes in your music, and is just only in it for the journey and for the love of, uh, love of the music and the passion. And when you find that uh, team member or team members, I guarantee your hustle will become so much more easier, so much more effective, and it just will take so much weight off your shoulders as an artist, which in turn will allow you to create more music and create better music. You are in your pocket more, you're not having to worry about these external things. Your only focus is the music, which is exactly what it should be for the artist. The artist's sole purpose should be focusing on themselves, being healthy, being in the pocket, and creating unbelievable music. So... Keep that in mind, guys. Always always be um, just thinking about team members and, and finding that. And if you have any questions that you, about this, just hit me up. I, I'm even thinking of maybe making another episode about this because it's a big topic. There's a lot to discuss. I could maybe even go into depth about it more, but we'll see what happens. So uh, thanks, guys. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I hope everyone has an amazing time. And, I'll, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.